Zoom communication was a pandemic darling as it rose from the 60s all the way to the 560s and it is now a pandemic dog unfortunately Kathy Woods bought the stock at the peak and just kept buying as it went down now she lowered her dollar cost average but she definitely caught the falling knife Kathy was acquired 10.5 million shares it's worth about 700 million now that represents about 5% of her portfolio but it's the fifth largest holding in her portfolio she owns roughly 3.5% of all outstanding Zoom video communication stocks. So should she sell now or hold? Let's get into this article it's coming from The Motley Fool. Is Zoom stock a buy now? So Zoom stock is far below the highs it set back during the pandemic when people across the world were depending on its video communication platform to replace in-person meetings. Shares are underperforming in 2023 as well, sitting out the rally that has pushed many other tech stocks higher this year. And there's a reason for that. One is just the competition. There are some good news for investors to be cautious about Zoom, after all, since its growth prospects aren't as bright as they had been a few years ago. Still, the business is profitable and could see accelerating sales gains over the next few years in its enterprise division. Personally, I don't think so. Again, call the competition. Yes, Zoom's latest growth results have been lackluster. Sales only rose 5% in Q1 selling period that ran through late April. Yet look closer and you will see a big difference between its two main business lines. The online segment, which is made up of the type of accounts that boomed during the pandemic, declined 8% this past quarter. Good news is that this business is finally stabilizing after over a year of big declines. And so is the price. Price is stabilizing too, but that doesn't mean it's a buy. Zoom is also in a great financial position. The company was sitting on nearly six billion of cash as of late April. That's very good. It generated four hundred million in free cash flow this past quarter too, thanks to its efficient software as a service selling model. And the net income has remained positive despite slowing sales growth and Zoom's increased spending on growth initiatives. Investors don't have to pay a huge premium to own the stock right now. Agree. It's at the 60s. Zoom is valued at less than five times annual sales, while other software specialists like Microsoft and Palo Alto Networks are valued at closer to 12 times sales. There's a reason why it's, it's <laughs> selling at five times sales. Sure, Zoom is, isn't, quickly as, isn't growing as quickly as these companies, and it faces some big challenges in crafting a defensive market share position in an enterprise communication niche. But investors might consider buying this relatively cheap stock. Zoom's strong finances give it flexibility to build on its growth momentum over the next several quarters. Rising enterprise spending could accelerate further, too, given the high engagement metric Zoom is seeing today. Overall, Zoom stock looks attractive as it eyes a potential growth rebound in fiscal 2024 and beyond. Uh, I don't think so. Um, and the company went public in uh, April of 2019. That was uh, about a year before the pandemic, so it was a pl it was a for the company way. It was a pleasantly surprise uh, when the pandemic hit and the economy closed. And I mean, they were the it uh, communication company back then, which is why the stock rose all the way from the 60s uh, to close to 600. Um, however, um, you know when there's an opportunity others won in and you had um, Microsoft you had Cisco through their WebEx I mean you had a bunch of players come into the market which is why the stock tanked so is it a buy well it is at a accumulation phase meaning um, it's back at the all-time lows um, but is it a buy uh, you know, fundamentally, okay, yep, they have a nice cash position and generating cash. Um, but 
it's not a growth company any longer, in my opinion. There's just too many um, players out there. All right, let's go down to the weekly chart. Now, we can see that price is in a nice, at least short-term uptrend, right? And rightfully so. Price did hit this band, support band, and, uh, you know, price rose $6. But it's rose $6 over a span of uh, 8 to 10 months, uh, 8 to 10 weeks. So... Now the good thing is that it looks like you are getting a potential uh, bullish crossover between the 13 and the 26 simple weekly moving average. Um, now let's drill down to the daily chart. Again, it respected the short term uptrend once. It appears it wants to do it again. However, price is now below all the moving averages which are going to serve as dynamic resistance. Now they have earnings coming out uh, next week um, or is that in two weeks they have earnings coming out on the 22nd and uh, the last time they reported earnings uh, the price dropped prior to that the price gapped higher to close lower prior to that price gap lower <laughs> see a trend here prior to that <laughs> uh price gap lower so the probability is that on earnings um, you know price is going to gap lower and retest this bottom of this uh, zone here so um, I would not buy zoom and uh, you know this is one of the worst calls that Kathy has had uh, you don't buy at the top and continue to buy <laughs> as it goes down um, she took an L on this one um, nevertheless, thanks for watching. Subscribe, please like the video.